Nvidia stock price hits its new high recently, and so has your value. What does that mean to you? Uh, absolutely nothing. I was trying to think of a good answer, um, but I still wake up at the same time. I still work the same way. Uh, I ate the same things. I I love all the same things. I love all the same people. Uh, nobody treat me any different, and uh, I, I still have a mountain of work in front of me, and so nothing has changed. Yep. And I I think that that's probably um, one of the one of the great things uh, about our company, and and one of the good habits that I have, uh, irrespective of of uh, of uh, um, adversity or failure, um, I pick up and go back to work the next day just the same way. You know, nowadays, R and D of AI has been regarded as national power. I think most of the American AI companies are facing the same situation that the U.S. government continue to restrict AI companies from selling high-tech products to China. So how does NVIDIA manage these regulations except downgrading chip of quality um, export to China, um, keep the market share? I mean, what are your strategies in doing business in China? Well, we have a duty to uh, comply with whatever policies uh, that, that um, are handed down and um, but beyond that uh, uh, we also have a responsibility to uh, be as successful as we can and so we'll we'll comply with the regulations build products that are exportable and um, uh, serve our customers uh, in China the best we possibly can uh, we have some really important partners there and customers there uh, they've been very good to us over the years uh, it's a very important market. It's a very large market, and uh, and so we we uh, comply with the regulations. Uh, we build the best products that we can to be as competitive as we can, uh, and serve our customers the way best we possibly can. And so uh, we balance those those uh, two goals um, just fine. And so we'll do our best. Yes, Jason. Now you are among nearly two dozen business and tech elites uh, to join the artificial intelligence, security, and safe board. Mm. Uh, that is to give advice to DHS in order to protect the economy from any threats posed by AI. Mm. Uh, why did you join the board and what do you hope to achieve there? Uh, I think that everybody should, uh, all, all the technology companies should engage in uh, advocating for uh, and doing our best to ensure uh, the safe development of AI. This is a, this is a new technology uh, that is advancing very quickly. We need to advance it quickly, number one, so that it could be safe to use. Just like a car uh, needs to be advanced in order in technology so it's safe to drive. Just like we, we would prefer that our planes were the most advanced because the most advanced planes are the safest planes. And so we would like to advance the AI so that it could be safe, that it could function properly. Um, on the other hand, because this is a automation technology, we have to make sure that the safeguards, the guardrails, um, the policies are, are put in place so that we could properly advance the technology safely. Uh, wherever we can contribute to the advancement of safe AI, we should try to do that. And when we were invited to do it, I was very delighted to be part of it. Because here I have three other questions <laughs> proposed by young members of our team. They say, hey, these are the things that uh, social media users would be really interested in. But they are more personal. It's about food and culture. <laughs> Shall we try? <laughs> How? <laughs> How? <laughs> Only okay. three. Okay. <laughs> it's easy. Number one, what Taiwanese food that you usually cook at home? You cook at home? We love cooking at home. Uh, cooking at home is, is uh, dinner time on the weekends is a very special time for me and very f for my family. It's, it's you a good time or Lori? For, cook? Well, both of us, <laughs> yeah, if we can. Yeah, uh, there's some there's some dishes that that I just don't know how to contribute. And and um, uh, but but with the kids growing up, uh, we've always enjoyed deciding what to make, going shopping together as a family, buying all the ingredients, bringing it back. Uh, making dinner together, you know, having a cocktail. Uh, it was always a perfect, perfect uh, weekend, weekend times. Uh, and so, so uh, dinner time and cooking always brings a lot of joy to me. Wow. Number two, still food. What kinds of Taiwanese food 
are your favorite? Oh, it's just, you know, I think, I think、um, simple foods are my favorite. Yeah. Tang Yin Tou is, is,、um, Tang Yin Tou is. Oh, Tang Yin Tou. Yeah. Oh, it's very spicy.、Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's everybody's curiosity. We've seen you really like to visit Taiwanese night markets.、Mm. <laughs> What attracts your interest so much in these night markets? People are nice.、Uh, they're working so hard. And、um, uh, they're trying to make a living. And it's nice to support them. When I was a child,、uh, I still have memories of going to the night market.、Uh, and I enjoy the night market so much、uh, that, that、uh, I got my face cut at the night market. Oh, yeah, you see, Rachel, yesterday. I have, a, I have a big scar on my face because of the night market. Uh, but but、uh, I always have wonderful memories of the night market. And, and、um, uh, my parents used to take us, take us a lot. And, and、um, somehow, somehow it's always had a, a, a,、um, a, a real fun place in my heart. And, and、um, of course, the, the green mangoes are terrific. The fruit lady is fantastic. And, and so, you know, everybody works so hard, everybody's so nice. And they're trying to make a living. It's kind of nice to be there to support them. Gladly, the good old days that just remain in memories. Yeah, and I get to enjoy those memories.、Yeah. Yeah. I was very surprised, you know, to、uh, see Maurice Chong visiting night markets in the late <laughs> evening with you on TV. I say, hey, we hardly see him appear in public this way. I think it was Morris's first time at the night market. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, how did I, you persuade him to go he, there? He wanted, he wanted to go. And, <laughs>、oh. and um, We had、uh, oyster fried pancakes and、uh, we had some shave ice.、Uh, um, two, two great, great places. And、uh, he, he really enjoyed it. And, and mostly we just enjoy each other's company. Since NVIDIA has become the world engine to push AI revolution moving forward,、mm. we'd like to hear your advice for everyone in this technology renaissance. Well, this is a new beginning. This is a new beginning that. that、um, Uh, we've been preparing for it all along. And I would advise that, of course, the technology industries here are all in on AI. And I'm so happy to see that.、Uh, all of our partners have so many new products. Uh, uh, people know that NVIDIA is、uh, at a run rate of over, over $100 billion a year now. And we manufacture the vast majority of that here in Taiwan. So that growth opportunity, that engine, Is going to benefit Taiwan. And so I think, I think the companies here are, are really going to prosper、um, in,、uh, in the AI revolution. On top of that, it's a reset of how software is created and what kind of software can be created. The companies all over the ecosystem here should jump on this opportunity because it's a reset, it's new. Nobody is further ahead as anybody else. However, the technology is moving very, very fast. And so I would advise that if your company does not have a strategy in AI, you must have a strategy in AI.、Um, if you were a student, if you haven't learned about AI, you should engage AI and try to learn something about it.、Uh, if you're in computer science, of course, this would be a very important field.、Uh, robotics would be a very important field.、Uh, so so um, uh, I would engage AI as quickly as you can because this is one of the most amazing technology revolutions in history. And a great, pros- great opportunity for prosperity in the future. Jason, thank you so much for sharing your precious time and wisdom with us. Thank, thank you, you so much. Hope I to see you、it. very soon. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.、Uh, I have some present for you. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Good food. I have to say that, that、um, your questions are thoughtful. Wow, and, that and relieves all my pressures、uh, it's, all around. It, it's, it's thoughtful and、uh, you're, you're conversational. And, and I, I thought you did a fantastic job. That was an excellent interview. I, I might become a fan and watch your interviews. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank、yeah. you. Hope、I、to visit、it. you in North California.